Houston is home to some of the most talented and creative artists in the world. Yes, this month marked the world premiere of the brand new play Plum Sugar, The Rise of Lauren Anderson at Stages Houston, bringing together the nation's first black prima ballerina, Lauren Anderson, poet and writer Deborah Deep Mouton, and actress and singer Dakina Moore. All three artists, uh, artists are joining us now to tell us more about the show. Ladies, thank you so much for being up with us early this morning. Great to see you. Lauren, I want to get right to you. You have such an incredible story to share. Can you tell us more about Plum Sugar and, and how it came to be? Well, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, Plum Sugar, The Rise of Lauren Anderson is written by Deborah Deep Mouton, and she approached me with a project, and I was like, okay, and she said, I would like to tell your story in your own words, and that was about three years ago. We've done three years of interviews, and uh, I spent a lot of time together, and here we are today with my story, and um, I'm very, very proud of this project. As well, you should be. And, and Deep, we first have to ask you why the name Plum Sugar. And as a writer, what attracted you to Lauren's story? Yeah, I think everyone in Houston has a Lauren Anderson story. And there are all these lovely moments with her kindness and her humility kind of meets humankind. And so I was excited to tell that story. For me, Plum Sugar kind of wraps up her historic role as the Sugar Plum Fairy for her whole career, as well as gives a nod to Southern culture, to Black culture, and the idea of, you know, the endearing thing of our heart being kind of at the, our sugar, right? Um, the thing that we want to love on, which I think is what this piece does for Lauren. Dakina, you bring Lauren's story alive each night. How does it feel to be portraying a woman who opened doors for other black women in the ballet? Yes, it, it is an absolute honor and dream. I, t I tell her all the time. She probably gets tired of me telling her. Um, it feels surreal, to be honest. And um, after every show, to have young girls of all shades coming up to me and just telling me how much it touches them and how much they, they don't feel like they might fit in or they might not be good enough. And, and, and when they look in the mirror, they see something that is not quite perfect you know and so um this story to be uplifting so many people is just a dream and i, I mean she's so brave and she's so incredible um to let her vulnerability her vulnerability and her bravery show so so clearly in the story and for deep to have seen it and have the foresight to write such a beautiful script the acting for me just happens naturally. You know, people ask me every night, how are you going so deep like that with this story? And I say, it's in the writing. It's in her story. It's in her legacy. It just is. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and Deep, you use poetry, spoken word, dance to help tell Lauren's story. What was the process like putting that all together for the stage? Well, you know, for me, I wanted to use a form that both included the accessibility of dance and my background in spoken word. And so I you know, really lean towards other forms that had already been existed. A choreo poem, which is what Inazaki Shange uses for, for a couple of girls, seems kind of like the perfect place to jump in and to build something that was new and fresh. And so we were able to take, you know, movement that Lauren is so familiar with and figure out how do we use text as music and how do we make a story that still moves, even if there's only one actress on stage. I mean, a phenomenal actress that's bad to keep. Oh. But, um, you know, how do we really build something where you can feel like you're in a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Lauren, getting to know her deeply the way that I did over the course of these three years. Yeah. And Lauren, you have a, a ton of triumphs, but you also had struggles along the way. Was there anything off limits for Plum Sugar? Well, I was advised that it will be boring if you don't tell the truth. So, and also, I want to help them right if, if i don't tell my story completely and be completely honest and open and transparent it won't help anyone everyone knows that well she started off as a ballerina and became this but life happens life sometimes gets in the way and there are many obstacles and we all it's a human it's a human story it's a life story it's a people story it's not just my story yes and, and for all three of you, what do you hope someone takes away from all this after seeing the show? 
Oh, wow. <laughs> I think that I want people to take away the idea that perfection, we said perfection is a myth, right? Myth. And that there's no way to be perfect and that we're all together on a journey together just trying to find the best path forward. Whether you're a world-renowned artist or, you know, um, someone who works day-to-day in and out of a very, like, what people feel like is a small career. I think that all of us have a story that's equal and worthy and necessary, and it's just a matter of figuring out how to tell it. Okay, really also, quick. I'm sorry, there's also uh, a way out, there's help, yeah. and you don't have to do it by yourself. Absolutely. And Deep said it best when God can polish you to a shine. I love if it. You just I let him. It. I love it. <laughs> okay, really quickly, last question. Uh, Plum Sugar going national, global? I mean, what what's next? We'll go wherever y'all want us to take to. Take. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works, right? The artists make the work and the people tell us where we should put it. I love it. I have been on the Broadway stage and I'll be happy to go back with Plum Sugar. Oh. There you go. There you go. Sky's the limit, <laughs> right? right? Thank you so much, Lauren Anderson, Deborah Deep Mouton, and Dakina Moore. We appreciate y'all taking you. some time with us and sharing your story. Plum Sugar is playing at Stages Houston through November 13th, so plenty of time to still see this and tickets start at just $30.